What is going on there is Kopalski and welcome to your second WordPress tutorials and in this tutorials we are going to move ahead to the installations of XAMPP so I'm just going to double click it and uh, it's going to run still waiting for it so I'm going to select English and next uh, OK next next we trust them install all these apaches as services select all this and click on install so as it's reading it's installing a ZAM server in your system just gonna wait for it a while anyway as I'm waiting let me keep myself busy and, um, all right it's true so click on finish uh, check in necessary ports please wait oh tired of waiting again stolen Apache service successfully uh, I think as you are waiting you should take a visit to that website and read more about what we are what we are about to be doing and um just stay tuned you know but don't forget to subscribe even as you're waiting all right i'm going to click ok here and congratulations the installation was successful start uh, so yes and it's going to run your zam server control panel for you so let me just explain a little about this what it means is that this apache is the server itself that means for example if you want to open a facebook you need a server or you need a modem or you need an internet connection so this apache server is just like your internet connections now this other one here they call it my sql so it's something that has to do with your database because every website that is going to be dynamic must have a database so with this my sql you have the access to what database this filezilla for now is not really important but maybe when you want to host your website when you want to host your website you need to check this on okay so to make to check it on in case it's not running in your own click display will be start so you click on it for example let me just stop this one so it will be like this and you click on start when you click on start it will say running okay so i think you've understood that then the next thing we are going to do is how to install the wordpress application in a zam control panel so that your zam will be able to see the wordpress or your website let me just call it temporarily your website so what you, are, you need to do is to locate where you download your wordpress for me i'm just going to locate where i download my okay for me these are my wordpress folder so everything about wordpress is here and i just have a new wordpress 3.9.1 so i'm just going to double click to extract it then this is the folder or this is the files that you need so you, you just need to select all or then leave it go to my computer local dxc locate your XAMPP folder it may be inside program files but just look for your XAMPP folder like this double click on it click on htdocs that is HT documents. open it then create a new folder in this place new folder call it the name you want to name your website okay this is just an example of how to create a ninja loaded website so I'm just going to type ninja loaded.com loaded.com then and uh, I'm going to leave it there then I'm going to extract these files which are not seeing the files I'm going to extract the whole of these files to that uh, to that folder that we created so I'm going to click on extract to and uh, I'm going to locate the folder C Zam HT Docs Ninja Loaded. So I'm going to click OK. It's going to read. Keep reading till finished. Alright. 
for you to know that it has finished or it has been extracted just locate your HT docs and open the nigeloaded.com folder open it so you see all these things inside don't mind them they are very very important okay then close it and open your web browser any browser you'll be using I prefer using uh, Firefox because I like them right open your web browser and uh, the first thing you you really want to do is to check if your ZAM is connected to your web browser I think that is a serious thing to do so what you how you do that is to type local host local host press your enter key on your return after that you notice that you have ZAM and it's telling you English language blah 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 don't mind all this language just know that you have successfully installed your ZAM then the next thing you really want to do is to try to access that website that you created that Ninja loaded folder so type localhost Ninja loaded when you type it it's going to say there doesn't seem to be a VP config or PHP file I need this file because sorry I need this before we get started so actually this v, uh, VP config file is a configuration file that contains the link to your database so what you need to do for you to get this file they made it very easy for you just create a configuration file here or you click on this link here when you click on it it will tell you what is needed they said embarrassing windows excuse me for that they said welcome to wordpress before you get started we need some database and blah 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 so he said let's go but before you go you need to create a database how do you create a database um, okay how to create the database will be discussed in the next tutorial so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe see you then